All right, so after you, I edited out you talking on the phone with the killer. And, and he's taking like, another nap because it's dark. See, you wait for him till it's dark, and then he says, Oh, by the way, I'm not meeting you there anymore. I'm meeting you at this other place, so come find me. And now the spooky goblins are after you. Mm-hmm. And the Bride of Chucky. Mm -hmm. So, what's that What's that thing called, and what's the timing on it? Do you know what I'm talking about? The sleep cycle thing where you sleep? No idea. Okay, I, I gotta do some research then. I think it's like 20 It's like minutes. eight hours of it's like, yeah, I, I think it's 60 every, minutes I think it's down. every four hours. Oh, really? I, I gotta research it some more, though, but... Uh, there's this one podcast that I like to listen to. So I'm just gonna say one quick thing. Okay. For this part... Um, right before, I just passed an unlimited revolver ammo a barrel, uh -huh. or chest, so if you can, only use, uh, I don't know why my shotgun's out, only use revolver ammo, because you can completely replenish it after this part. So, okay. go ahead. Um, you know who Sean Elliott is, the yeah. former EGM and 1UP guy, mm -hmm. really funny motherfucker, um, he works for a company, I think they're called Irrational, mm -hmm. the company that made the first Bioshock. Uh -huh. And they haven't announced what their new project is. Anyway, um, they have a podcast, and on one of the most recent podcasts, they did an interview with like a bunch of different like programmers and developers just asking for their weirdest stories. And one of the programmers talked about um, doing that weird sleep cycle. Mm -hmm. and like his experience doing it and he said it was fucking hell at the start mm -hmm. just fucking miserable and that um, it really made him appreciate like when you got when, like if you stuck to it and you slept for those 30 minutes every 4 hours or whatever it is mm -hmm. you loved those 30 minutes and you got so much sleep out of those 30 minutes <laughs> that like when he went back to a normal, you know, real person sleep schedule. Yeah, eight hours a night. That he knew how to get more out of a normal sleep schedule than he did before. Like, he knew how to fall asleep faster, and he knew how to, like, shut himself down better. Because... So would he sleep for less time on his normal schedule? Um, Like, maybe, like, I don't think six he said, hours? I don't think he said. But it sounded like... He, he said he could fall asleep, like, better <laughs> because of doing that weird thing. Huh. Like, when he when he reverted to a normal schedule. So, I, I've always had problems kind of, like, falling asleep at night. Like, I always end up staying up, like, three hours past everybody else in the, in the house. See, as a kid, mm -hmm. I couldn't go to sleep for the life of me. Like, I would just lay in bed mm -hmm. and wake for hours. I think my problem is that I have a fucking computer and a phone mm -hmm. and all sorts of shit in my room, and I'm always, like, thinking. Yeah. And it's just hard for me to shut off. Like, I have to be fucking exhausted or drunk. Maybe that's part of, like, maybe that's why I drink so much. It helps me fall asleep. But. Dude, for me, now, I can go to sleep instantly. Really? I didn't used to. Like, it used to take hours every night. I would complain about it to my mom. I'm like, I can't sleep at night. Hmm. Like, I can't sleep. You're just mind running too fast? Yeah. I just too lay much, there for hours. Energy. And now, never happens to I'm, like, out like a light. Hmm. I, uh, I'm not me at all. I always end up, you know, reading Reddit and my RSS feeds and... I think it has to do with the comfort of my bed. Oh, I've got a great bed. I fucking love my bed. But... Uh, yeah, I think it's just too many distractions. Yeah. 